This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Fuck, fuck, fuckity fuck. Okay, sorry. Hey, how are you? Do you, do you like swear words? Sure. Sure. Yeah. I don't know what else to say to that, but yeah. <laughs> I love your jacket. Thank you. Thank you. Custom made. I've had a few of them. I wish I could wear it to the ring tonight, though, but I can't because I can't wrestle. Oh. Yeah, I've been injured. I got injured wrestling Adam Cole and I had to have surgery on my shoulder. Oh. I'm still out for another five or six months. So tonight's a fun night, but not at the same time because yeah. I can't participate in the way that I have the last few years. So, oh. you know. I, I can't even imagine what that. It's, yeah, it's awful. I mean, I know we're at Night of the Superstar 7. I've actually been in the main event of the first six. So to be here and not be able to participate, I mean, it's, it's, it sucks. Mm-hmm. But that's how life rolls. But a few more months, I'll be back. Yeah. And I'll be back in IWC kicking some ass. So. Now, I think it's one of those things. A lot of times when you come back from injury, you're better than you were oh, before. I plan on it, yeah. for sure. I mean, I've been doing this for 16 years, believe it or not, wow. and uh, I've never in, in 16 years I never had any major injuries, and I and this is my first major major one. Mm-hmm. I actually had to have surgery. Uh, I had tore my bicep and I tore my labrum, so they had to put six anchors total in my shoulder here. So I feel like the bionic man now, and I'm gonna have to come back and prove a lot of people uh, wrong about me in my older age that uh, I'm not done yet. I like that. I like that you have that mentality. You're like, I'm going to show these jerks. I am going to show these. I'm going to show all these youngins coming through IWC how it's really done. So uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. I'm not going to say much more than no. show them when I'm back. So We're definitely missing this attitude. Oh, I haven't had this attitude in a while. I used to do it when Chuck Roberts was around. Mm-hmm. That guy, used, I used to terrorize that guy. Really? And I've been really nice to Justin Plummer. Uh-huh. But maybe when I come back, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Mrs. Sorg would like to see the old big league, right? Yeah, yeah all right, all right. So a lot of people would like to see that. I haven't had that chip in my shoulder in a while. Maybe it's time to come back. Yeah. Well, guys like Andrew Palace need to get slapped around a little bit. And Bostick. Yeah. Get out of here. Look at me. See these kids? Yeah, yeah. They look at you. They're little punks. All right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're going to get destroyed later. So, yeah. You do a lot of fun art stuff. Yeah. I've been doing the wrestling art work for about seven years now. I started uh, at a wrestling show in Erie at PWR Wrestling. Uh, it was Gangrel was the first one I drew and put it up online, social media, and all of a sudden it started to get a lot of fanfare and a lot of them, some of the wrestlers came along and John McChesney asked me if I would draw one of him, and that kind of turned into the next step, and it's blown up to where it's at now, which is coloring books and doing artwork for the Pro Wrestling Hall of Fame down in Texas. Uh, so it's been a wild ride so far. I'm a little hoarse from 500 people talking, yeah. and yelling and yelling at the wrestlers and me yelling and them yelling. It was a good show tonight. Oh, yeah, great show, great show. It was, <laughs> it's, 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 it's really fun for me from being like a little kid seeing them as like the gods and monsters of a pantheon and then being like hey how's your family doing nice to see you how's your wife's cooking show how's your kid's soccer game it's very surreal because it's because you you get them and, and they think i'm giving them artwork that i do out of respect and to have them give me that nod it just means like everything um, Ray, when he came through, he kind of gave me a second, like, hey, thanks for, mm-hmm. and it was like everything. <laughs> like, now, now I can die. <laughs> right, right, right. It gives you, it's, it makes you 12 years old again. It really does. And I'm almost 40. And to have that, still that magic is what makes this everything that it is for us fans, wrestlers, everybody. So it's fun to take yourself and just allow yourself to experience it and just letting go. Right. You know, being being my age and still having that magic is, is probably the best part of it. You know, you get you get to walk in and you're still like you're still amazed, you're still astounded, you're still just you're drawn into everything and you have no idea what's going on and what's gonna happen next and, and it's just it's great. It's in in like matches like tonight, especially that last match, it was just wild to see these guys in real life doing these flips and just right. Right, it's you, you. You get the crowd yelling the whole time, and then when they get to that, that one move that like lights the whole crowd up, like a, like a, like a lightning storm. It's it's just really amazing to see everyone else stand up. You know, 
of all ages just to watch them you know it's it's great to watch I, I I have more fun kind of watching the crowd as much as I do watching the wrestlers themselves so it's you know it's it's a full you know story unfolding for everyone so. okay so the big conversation tonight and I've been asking the guys this too best coffee from a convenience store who is it from a convenience store or like a local store More like a uh, like a gas station coffee hmm gas station coffee probably sheets uh they just have such a larger selection of like flavors but i don't drink a lot of coffee I drink a lot of iced coffee and they have better prices and they have uh like uh when you want to get like a starbucks big can they always usually have like a two for four deal everyone else has them two for five so even big lots has a more expensive than sheets write that down write it down don't forget that this is important life advice. Why have I not been brought in any macadamia nut cookies is my question. I mean, am I not good enough for the macadamia nut cookies? Are you not entertained by his drawings? Just a, just a note for anyone out there. If you ever try to poison me, put the poison in macadamia cookies because I'll eat them regardless of poison or not. I'm just saying it's worth it. I will take that last bite and enjoy my life as it ends. <laughs> Well, you heard it first. Where, well, where can we find your stuff? Be considered a local Franklin. I have not been given a, you know, an eight one four area code yet, but we're looking into it. Um, I live up in Erie at the moment, and you can find me on my Facebook page, uh, which is the Artist of Pro Wrestling. Uh, you can look it up. It's www.facebook.com backslash Art of Franklin One. Check it out. You will not be disappointed. I promise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank He's you. He's more than just a sexy voice. Oh, oh, hey! When did you get here? Hello. Yes. Meow, 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 meow. <clears throat> to answer your question, I am the venomous and vile serpent from the Nile, the one and only master of snake style the cobra supernova ophidian yes your eyes are very shiny my eyes are beautiful thank you very much they're the golden color that every woman wishes uh could stare them back in their own faces mm -hmm. i said that awkwardly i'm sorry All right. that was awkward it was hot uh, yes, I am hot. It's 80 degrees today. Uh, it's very sweaty, not only outside, but in this building. When you're under those hot lights, wrestling in a match like I had tonight, mm -hmm. me and Gory, who is a mortal enemy of mine, I cannot stand Jason Gory. No but one I, can. Exactly. But what you know what I can't stand even more than Jason Gory? Huh. is men like us who have been in the dirt grinding, having our opportunities taken away from D us by DJ Z and Rey Mysterio. Jerks. That's what they are. Butts. Uh, butts. Beautiful butts, but butts, butts they are. Butts. Absolutely. I cannot stand when butts like that, such glorious ones, and it take what we deserve. Gory and I should have been the main event tonight. And you know what? We actually were. Mm -hmm. Right? We, we took the main event. We didn't just ask for it. We went out there and we took it from those men. And their fabulous butts. Yes. Correct. Butt talk. Wait. <gasps> Welcome to butt talk. Hi, um, this is today on the Butt Talk, and, oh, did you have any of the meat of balls in the back? Uh, oof, uh, there's always a risk of that when Rey Mysterio jumps off the top rope, you know, crotch first oh, yeah. at you. There's always a risk of getting a lot of that, but not today. I protected my own face. You, you must. I mean, it, that, must. that tongue is fabulous. Well, thank you. It's, it is, uh, nice and shiny, like no other tongue before it. Do you get the attention of a lot of cats? cats? Cats seem to like shiny things. Well, there's a cat who rules my home by the name of Commander Winslow. Uh, and he is Commander Winslow because, you know, I am a, I'm a man of the military. Mm -hmm. And he is the commanding officer in, in my household. So, yes, I get his attention very much. How old is the commander? The commander is about five years old now. Yes. This is the commander of hobbies? He started from the bottom, like here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now he's stunting with the whole team here. He's actually a very large and fat cat. Uh, I spoil him with lots of wet and uh, various foods. 
because, you know, mm -hmm. he's the commander. He can have whatever he wants. He deserves it. I mean, when you put that much hard work in and work through the ranks, you deserve the best food. He absolutely does. He even, he even gets fresh greens. I give him spring uh, salad mix regularly because he loves spinach and arugula, specifically arugula. arugula. Yeah. I like the word arugula. I do, too. It's very tasty. Arugula. Arugula. Butts and arugula. You heard it here first, people of home watching and or listening. Or maybe neither. Who knows? They're, they probably turned this off way long ago. Thank you for joining me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you so much for having me. It was such a pleasure to have you on, or have me on your show. Oh, yes. Thank you. You may exit thank if you. you'd like. Correct. Cool. Hey, I'm with Daniel Hooven. How are you? Okay, so it's Catterday. Let's talk about cats. Every day is Catter Day. Yes, I, I love cats. Bear cats that just ran by and regular cats, especially fat cats. How many cats do you have? I have two cats, uh, Huff and Doback. Did you name them or did they come with names? They came with names and I changed them. I didn't, I didn't like their original names. No, Husky and Simba are no ways to name a cat. No, that's awful. Yeah, it's kind of body shaming. I wasn't going to have my cat body shamed. You're like Husky's like the little boy's size that they got rid of. Well, yeah, that was for me growing up. So, you know. You're like, I'm sorry, kitty. Now I just call it plump. plump. <laughs> what are their favorite toys? They don't really play with toys. They're, they're literally like, they're, they're, my home is a retirement house. They're old. How old? They're like eight. And they're really big. And they, uh, they just enjoy life. Sometimes they, they, when I open the window, they sit and stare for hours. I have my cat, Lily, is 20. She turned 20 in March. Uh, she is a black fluff ball. She's now deaf, which is kind of funny because if you have like an old grandparent that you would fall asleep in a chair and you'd touch them and they'd be like, ah, when they wake up, that's her. So it's too much fun to wake her up. <laughs> I'm a horrible cat owner. She doesn't seem to mind. I feed her a lot. So she likes me, but it's like, she's like a little diva. Do they, they have personalities? All cats are divas. All cats are divas. <laughs> and, and, uh, my, my one cat's real weird. I got both of them as a two for one deal because they said that their brothers, I think the one was just too weird to get adopted on his own. <laughs> yeah. You're like, this cat has not actually met this other cat. Yeah. Yeah. They just, they tolerate each other till like night falls and there's fights. Oh. Cat seems... That's my boy, the bear cat. It's a bear cat. Yeah. Yeah. Those are native to, I'm not even sure where. No, I helped him out last month. I got his back in IWC now. He was attacked by the culmination led by Remy, his former best friend. And That's it is. I mean, how are you going to be mean to Keith Hot? No. You're not. Not while I'm around. He's the best hugger. I will go on record and say he's the best hugger. I mean, of not counting you. Present no. company excluded. Yeah. Bailey. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm. But I've never hugged her, so I don't know that. True. You know. And then um, chest flexor. How do you feel about him as a person? He's a, he's a legend. He's a legend. Mm -hmm. uh, Chess Flexor. I was actually uh, had the opportunity to be in a match with him earlier tonight. Uh, we were in a six-man scramble for the IWC High Stakes title. Uh, obviously, I have no gold on me. I'm just hiding the pizza belly right now. So, you know, I didn't win the championship, but I ate some uh, high school grade pizza. So, I think overall it was a good night. That's all you can ask for. Good pizza. Uh, coffee. Are you a coffee drinker? I'm a coffee drinker. I love coffee. But speaking of pizza, the best pizza in Pittsburgh: Slice on Broadway, bar none. See, I didn't even make him do that. Bar none. Delicious. Now, chest flexor, where do you think he gets his pants? Do you think he goes to, like, like a kid's store or? He probably goes where Mr. Burgundy does, mm. to the pants store. Pants store. Do you go, does he go to the pants store? Has anybody, can we, I wonder if he's around. Uh, chest, do you, do, where do you buy your pants? These pants. Yeah, where do you buy your pants? These are custom made, bro. What'd your butt say? It says chest. C-H-E-S-P. Ah, chest. chest. This is chest. This is chest. It's just whenever I get excited, it gets the T looks like a P. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. He knows it. Oh, yes, sir. No, I know. I don't know. Oh, I know Missy's here. She's the worst. There's a camera. Mark Zuckerberg's watching us right now. You're recording. <laughs> Look at that hair. You have very pretty hair. Thank you. I didn't. I don't think I've ever looked at his hair. Look at him. It's gorgeous. Just flows. After about the time these two stuck popcorn in my ass. We did. There was a time. Was it during the holiday podcast? No, no. No, it was it was at the which which place was that? It was the movie theater, the movie theater. converted into wrestling house. Oh that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone got butt popcorn. 
Mm -hmm. So tell us about Syria. <laughs> heat, heat is off of Korea. Don't worry. I know. I know. We're on to Syria now. No, I think he's wearing something much more hated with his Philly shirt. I'm not a Flyers fan. You should make sure you put that out there. He's I'm not, not, I'm not a Flyers fan. I'm an Eagles fan. I'm not a Flyers fan. They're bad people. They remind me of Penguin fans. I don't do that. No, I, I have to defend Penguins fans because they're not as bad as Steeler fans. Steeler fans have always treated me very nicely. Really? Yeah. Oh, man. I feel, like, I feel like Steelers fans tolerate Eagles fans, but... But but uh, Penguins fans are like Alpha Lud, are you a flyer? I'm like, no. Straight. What's happening next Friday? Next Friday, we're going to be with Dom and Joe Wadges, baby. Ooh. Up at Five Star Wrestling in Butler, Pennsylvania. Hello. With the uh, legendary Legion of Doom founder, co-founder, Animal. Oh, really? And uh, rumor has it, I will be in action. Oh, cool. I don't know that's cool for the crowd, but it's cool for me. I mean, okay. I'm, I don't want to say our ages, but... To get back into working out, and especially as hard as you've been working out, how tough has that been? Like, just keeping the motivation up. Um, I'm short, so I have a uh, motivation called Napoleon Syndrome. Because I cannot grow yay tall and talk to beautiful women, I grow yay wide and talk to semi-beautiful women. I've tried. She goes, how's the weather down there? You stay there. Very nicely, though. Very politely. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're cool daughters. Yeah, cool. I get Yeah, we're totally I don't even cool. pat you on the head. So, I mean, that I means we're cool. That. Yeah. I respect that. I respect that. Um, I, I, I've always worked out, so, you know, it's just a habit for me. It's hard on your own when you're on the road a lot, but, you know, this past week I was in Detroit, and yeah. uh, I was working out at the hotel gym at 11.30 night. Oh, wow. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, because it's like, I just keeping that headspace and like, okay, I got to go again. Because once you miss one day and then you miss two days, I think it's the second day when you miss that, that you're just like, I don't feel like. Yeah, I've actually been out with two sprained shoulders. So the past month, I've only been able to do cardio and curl. Oh, wow. So, uh, I mean, you know, I got some good wind in me, but I don't feel super strong. Oh, and no. you're in there with the, the, the big guys, the heavyweights, it's like the, old, the, 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 you know, continued story of my uh, Gulliver's travels through independent wrestling. And everybody's up here. It'll be a good book one day. It will. It will. I've already been. I already began to write the book. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think. I don't think there's enough of those kind of stories. I, I really don't think anybody would want to read my stories. Thank you. You're welcome. Because I, I think they're different. I think they're different experiences. Because a lot of it seems like you get a lot of the same experiences. I, I have a very unique past and lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not really accepted by many, but I just do what I do. Mm -hmm. That's good. And in, 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 the, in the words of Mark Henry, WWE Hall of Famer, who's with us tonight. I do wait. I, I do what I do. That's what that's what I do. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. So. And he's so sweet. Me or Mark? Both. Thank you. Yeah, Mark Henry. He was like, he, he "Hi, how are you?" Chocolate. He has yeah. sexual chocolate. Mm -hmm. I like to think what the Asian people eat for candy. Me either. Awkward. Mm hmm. Mm. Candy. Eat candy. Oh. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.